Letter 8. A Spider and a Fly I heard a spider and a fly arguing. Wait, said the fly, do not eat me. I serve a great purpose in the world. You will have to show me, said the spider. I scurry around gutters and sewers and garbage cans, said the fly, and gather up the germs of typhoid, influenza, and pneumonia on my feet and wings. Then I carry these germs into the households of men and give them diseases. All the people who have lived the right sort of life recover from the diseases, and the old soaks who have weakened their systems with liquor and iniquity succumb. It is my mission to help rid the world of these wicked persons. I am a vessel of righteousness, scattering seeds of justice, and serving the noblest uses. It is true, said the spider, that you are more useful in a plodding, material sort of way than I am, but I do not serve the utilitarian deities. I serve the gods of beauty. Look at the gossamer webs I weave. They float in the sun like filaments of song, if you get what I mean. I do not work at anything. I play all the time. I am busy with the stuff of enchantment and the materials of fairyland. My works transcend utility. I am the artist, a creator and a demigod. It is ridiculous to suppose that I should be denied the food I need in order to continue to create beauty. I tell you plainly, Mr. Fly, it is all damned nonsense for that food to rear up on its hind legs and say it should not be eaten. You have convinced me, said the fly. Say no more. And shutting all his eyes, he prepared himself for dinner. And yet, he said, I could have made out a case for myself, too, if I had had a better line of talk. Of course you could, said the spider, clutching a sirloin from him. But the end would have been just the same if neither of us had spoken at all. Boss, I am afraid that what the spider said is true, and it gives me to think furiously upon the futility of literature. Archie